How did you get hired as an art director without being a traditional or obvious candidate? Well, I did some art directing when I worked at Self Magazine. And you know how you had to work on the styling and art directing, so that was really great experience for me. But recently, transitioning into more of an art directing role than a stylist role, um, this is a really funny story. I actually went into an interview thinking of applying for a full-time styling position, but it turned out that the company was so big and that specific job was actually with a acquaintance friend of mine that we had worked together years ago. Um, I Condé Nast for, but um, you know, sitting in his office, he basically, we were both like, this isn't for you. Like, it's a writing job, you know, you can do it. You can do these pages and uh, if you really want it, you know, if you all think about it, but what do you really want to do? And in the last couple of years, I've been thinking about like, oh, you know, someday I'd really love to be a creative director. I'd love to do something a bit more bigger picture. Um, yeah you know, just kind of growth and transitioning and, I don't know, setting up new challenges for myself. So he kept pressing me, like, what do you really want to do? Like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? And I was like, oh my God, I, <laughs> I just want, you know, I want to be an art director and a creative director one day. And it just came out. And, um, but I'd never said it out loud. I, you know, I kind of questioned some friends who were art directors and, you know, tried to kind of get their advice on, oh, what do you think? Or how do I do it? But I never really just put it out there, you know? And sitting here in an interview, and I'm like, <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. But, <laughs> but it is, it's true. It's, it's really what I was hoping for. And, you know, his response was, fine, okay. And you're like, that's it? <laughs> really, it's that simple? I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, I never thought, oh, you just keep asking, you just keep asking. <laughs> or you ask, you ask, you know, and sometimes, you know, someone will be like, fine, try, go for it, you know, maybe. So I was really lucky. He, and I really appreciate that he gave me the opportunity and he put me in touch with his creative director and loves this man. So, so, um, I don't know, just inspirational, you know. Um, I think I had a 12 minute interview with the creative director and he spoke like three languages in that time, picked up a phone call in French, said hi to me in Chinese, told me about all of operations, looked at my portfolio, showed me like some video that he had done, like in 12 minutes, you know. I mean, it was like the fastest talker I've ever met in my entire life, that type of thing. And you're just like, whoa. <laughs> you know, and he said, okay. He's like, we're gonna give you this chance. You know, maybe he didn't say that literally, but he gave me the chance. And I remember this so clearly, he said, do good and good things will happen and um yeah and he's like just don't f it up and he kind of put the fear in god in me but at that moment i was like well there's no going back now so you know that's not an option so you're just gonna go for it you know you know so i did 